Hey students, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. It's Monday night or Tuesday in class, and we have one lesson left this chapter, and it's going from factored form to standard form. Uh, this could also be called multiplying polynomials, because that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be multiplying polynomials together. Um, Quick reminder, standard form for, for a polynomial, if you think back to quadratic, it was like ax squared plus bx plus c. So if it's a cubic function, standard form would be um, f of x is ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, if it was cubic. If it was a quartic equation, quartic to the fourth power, it would be ax to the four plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx plus Elliot. Um, so that's standard form. Um, and if you're in factored form like this, you're gonna just do you're gonna have to multiply a bunch of polynomials together to end up in to standard form. So let's get into this. Um, you have three things here and they all need to be multiplied together. Um, I'm going to start off by multiplying x minus 5 times x minus 4, um, and I'm going to show all of my work. Um, first, when I multiply x minus 5 times x minus 4, I need to distribute the x into the x minus 4, and that gives me x squared minus 4x. Next, I distribute this negative 5 into x plus 4, Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times negative 4 is positive 20. Um, and then after you do all of the, uh, the distributing, the double dis distributing, um, you need, you, there'll usually be some like terms to add. In this case, I have negative 4x and negative 5x. So I have x plus 3 times x squared. These two add up to negative 9x plus 20. Um, and that's step one. Um, it should be noted, I usually don't do this step. I usually do this particular step in my head. I write the x squared. I write the positive 20. Um, the outers is negative 4x. The inners is negative 5x, which adds up to negative 9x. You don't need to write this middle step, in my opinion. All right, so next, we're going to do the same thing. But this time, um, we're distributing x plus 3 into x squared minus 9x plus 20. So first step, just like the last problem, is to distribute the x into this trinomial here. x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 9x is negative 9x squared. x times positive 20 is positive 20x. Next, I'm going to distribute this positive 3 in here. Positive 3 times x squared is plus 3x squared. Positive 3 times negative 9 is negative 27x. And positive 3 times 20 is 60. And now I can add up the like terms. Um, the first and last terms, there's, I, there, I don't think there will ever be like terms. If you've done this the same way that I did, there will never be like terms on the first and the last term, but you should find like terms for everything else in the middle, usually. Um, negative 9x squared and positive 3x squared is negative 6x squared. And positive 20x and negative 27x is negative 7x. Um, and then the plus 60. Okay. That was example one, and if you're already done with example one and you're like, okay, I get this, I can try it out on my own, pause this video, you're good to go, um, and try out the problems that you'll get on that worksheet. Um, if you'd like to see a second example, let's do a second example. Um, let's call it W of X, after my grandpa, Willard Williams. Um, and let's go, let's go with a, a quartic. So it'll be X plus 3, X minus 4, um, x plus, make up a number, 5, and let's go with another x minus 2. Um, so if I already had one like this and there were four terms, I would first multiply the first two together, and I'd multiply the last two together. Um, if I multiply the first two together, you get x squared 
um, negative 4x plus 3x is negative x. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And if I were to multiply these two together, x times x is x squared. Um, negative 2x plus 5x is plus 3x, and then minus 10. And now I have to multiply this one by this one, and I have to do it in three steps. First, I'm going to distribute the x squared. Then I'm going to distribute the negative 12. Then I'm going to distribute... Wait, I said that wrong. First, I'm going to distribute the x squared. Then I'm going to distribute the negative x. Third, I'm going to distribute the negative 12. That's in the first step. And then the second step, I'll add all the like terms. So first distribution, x squared times x squared is x to the 4. x squared times 3x is plus 3x squared. x squared times negative 10, I've made a mistake, is, uh, that's negative 10x squared. If I go back a step, x squared times positive 3x is positive 3x cubed. How did I know I made a mistake? Because I, needed, I was expecting when I distribute the x squared, the exponent should keep going down by 1, 4, 3, 2. The fact that it went 4 to 2 let me know that I had made a mistake. All right, next I'm going to distribute the negative x into the set of parentheses. Negative x times x squared is negative x cubed. Negative x times positive 3x is negative 3x squared. And negative x times negative 10 is positive 10x. Based off what I was saying earlier, x cubed, x squared, x to the 1, clues me and I probably did it right, or maybe did it right. Lastly, I'm going to distribute the negative 12. Negative 12 times x squared is negative 12x squared. Negative 12 times positive 3x is negative 36x. Negative 12 times negative 10 is positive 120. And then to finish it off, there should be like terms to add everywhere except for the first and the last terms, usually. x to the 4. Um, as far as the x cubes go, I have a 3x cubed and a negative x cubed, so that's positive 2x cubed. Um, you might want to cross stuff out as you've used it um, to remind you to not use it again. Um, x squared, so I have a negative 10x squared, a negative 3x squared, and a negative 12x squared. They're all negative, negative 25 negative 25x squared. Um, moving on to the x's, positive 10x, negative 36x, that's negative 26x, and then finish it off with a plus, 12, with a plus 120, which is the number on the end. And that's all I have to show you today, everybody. Um, that's it uh, for this chapter, well, for this lesson and for this chapter and before this time, before our vacation. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.